So we're going to do a cold one this time? Like something and then do the intro and then... Let's do that. You want to try that? Yeah. Great message this Sunday. Let's recap. Mm. Sure. Johnny could find something in the clip. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, as a matter of fact, that's what this week's My message is not all in about. A creative cold open spot. <laughs> yeah, so what about that Bible anyway? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Welcome to our message recap, where we mm -hmm. recap the message from the previous Sunday. Uh, this week, we are currently in a series called Better Than Ever, and yep. the, this week was Read the Bible. You wonder what I think? A biblio. Oh. This series is better than ever. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> I told you yesterday, because you came to me after first service, like, this is the best series we've ever done, and like... Yeah. I think you said that about the last one mm -hmm. and the previous six or seven before that. and But I meant it each time. Mm -hmm. Okay. They're, they're, they just see, keep this getting better. better. Than the, last, the last one was better than the one before. Is this series better than Make Christianity Great Again? What's your favorite song of all time? <laughs> That's an Whoa. unanswerable question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I, wouldn't have, stuff. I wouldn't have named it that. I would have named it make christianity christianity again mm. that's what i would have named it well then you can't play yeah. off the whole i know yeah. i know i understand the Slogan. play on words yeah. but yeah. really yeah, yeah yeah oh well but anyway we're i digress we're back so, in this message okay. this message <laughs> read the hand. bible yeah read the uh -huh. bible yep uh okay the point of the message was I, I i tried to convey it at the very end but the whole point of this week's message was i want people whether you've been a christian for a long time whether you're just exploring whatever i want i want all of us to read the bible the way i believe god intends for it to be read mm -hmm. as a way to know him and grow closer to him and i just think that's not how 98 percent. okay i pulled that statistic out of my butt but i think that's not how most people mm -hmm. christians or not mm -hmm. read the bible i think uh we do it in a whole sort of other different ways and we miss the most important part we miss the reason to read the bible so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i gave three but they kind of all led down to to that one so right so right. so let's start with this most people don't read the bible well period just yeah, period. just end <laughs> most people don't read the bible and statistically most christians don't read the bible mm -hmm. I mean, that's just mm -hmm. a statistical fact which mm -hmm. is really sad now why they don't read the bible maybe because they don't have those instructions you started with look at this as a book it's you know 66 different documents and letters yeah. kind of not mm -hmm. in chronological order uh understanding the, the first part the middle part the last part that that kind of, that's why they probably don't read it i tried reading it it's very confusing i don't understand this uh, warfare mm -hmm. and this and that and i don't get it by the yeah. third book i'm bored <laughs> yeah you know so so i understand why maybe some but i but i think those instructions will help mm -hmm. and you know starting with reading your own mail is very very important you know, understanding mm -hmm. the New Testament. We live in modern day Christianity. Reading that first, understanding, not even the gospel is a story of Jesus after that. Then mm -hmm. go to the stories of Jesus' life. Then go back to the Old Testament and get some background. Right. Yeah. So you would do you it know. completely backwards. I you would. start at Acts and go from there. I would. And then go back to the gospels, yep. hit those. And I would read from Acts to Jude. Uh, 20 times before I moved from <laughs> not, there. Not Revelation. Did you, did no, you, probably not. So you missed one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but I, I mean, I would. If I, was, if I was pursuing Christianity, what does God say for my life? What is this Christian thing These all are about? the letters that are written specifically to me. Yeah, about Christianity. Yeah, right. Very specific to modern day Christian followers. And that's instructions for us, and it's all about that. And I think if people did, if you've had trouble reading the Bible, I think if you started there, reading the book of Acts, what the early church did, all the way to, don't get in Revelation yet, you know, uh, eventually you can, mm -hmm. but a uh, very difficult book to understand, and I think it was that by design. But uh, read those things first so you understand and have a good understanding and relationship with God. And as you read those, you have to start with information. Mm -hmm. You don't know what yeah. you don't know. Right, right. But... And I thought you made a great point. I, mean, I love that point that you made about 
if it's just information, you're going to reach a point where, okay, there's nothing new anymore. Put it away. <laughs> no, that, that information has to lead towards inspiration when it's personalized. Mm-hmm. It leads to inspiration. It has for me, it has for millions of Christians around the world. Yep. When you read it for meaning and actually praying, God, speak to me through this. It's, it's us getting close to God. Mm-hmm. And it is very inspired. I can remember, you know, the first few times I was reading through that, my heart wanted to be that. I wanted to experience what the writers were talking about in this relationship with God, you know. Mm-hmm. And I, I think it's it's so important, you know. So after that inspiration, you know, I think it's just, I, I think the, 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 the normal transition of that is to have this transformation in our life. I, I think it's just a normal byproduct. I don't think you have to try. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's just what happens. I think when you eat food and your system digests it, <laughs> what happens next is a byproduct, you know? So, <laughs> how you like that? Huh? That was nice. I was, was like to see how you it. Byproduct. You don't have to try to force this out. You know, it just comes. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Transformation happens. Yeah. It does. And one, so... You can't try to make that happen you can't transform you can yourself try, but you will fail miserably yeah, every, every time, time. Mm-hmm. You know, here's I, i've had people ask me i'm thinking of a few specifically you know hey i i read the bible my guess is it probably stops at information when mm-hmm. they bring up these sorts of questions but i didn't really talk about it during the message but when when either of you read the bible mm-hmm. i know for me how how like put a percentage on there of where you maybe feel the presence of God in the moment or you get some sort of emotional something. Because I, I know for me, when I read the Bible, very rarely is it, oh my gosh, you know, mm-hmm. like this kind of, wow, my, man, God mm-hmm. just absolutely touched my heart right there in that moment. Boom, amazing sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, but I would say three quarters of the time, it's, later on when I'm thinking about it that I don't necessarily get this like emotional I don't want to use the word emotional like a like with prayer is not always just emotional but it's different for me than prayer where usually it's in the pondering later on where I experience yeah. God mm-hmm. is that because I've had people ask me hey I read it I don't I don't like I just don't get anything out of it and I don't want people to I don't want people to get the mm-hmm. idea that well if you don't have this emotional experience then you didn't read it right right and it's also not a at least my experience, I don't read it and then, okay, now I'm waiting. I, I read like four or five lines. Now I'm going to wait, sit here and wait. And if nothing happens, okay, well, nothing. You sit and think about it as the day goes on, as the week goes on even. Mm-hmm. And it could hit you like two, three days later. It's like, there. oh, okay, I get it. I get yeah. it. Speaking to me. Got it. I, I think I've had all of the above, you know, over the years. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know what? I probably have an advantage over many people that I've been reading the Bible to understand it and to be inspired and transformed by it uh, for 25, 30 years. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's a little bit uh, probably unfair. However, I can clearly remember the journey through that, having all different kinds of things. Today, what I do, and it is a little bit more difficult, you know, so I'm going to, I'm going to read Romans. And I, in the back of my head, I already you know the know background. Romans. I know the background. I know Paul wrote. It's one of the most doctrinal letters we can have. He had never been to Rome. He didn't. He he was yeah. he was basically writing them all about what Christianity was about. You know, so it's a great mm-hmm. letter. So, so I already know that going in. It helps. Mm-hmm. And then I try to even to this day, if I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to read Romans now, maybe the next couple days or whatever, I try to read the whole thing without stopping and not ponder anything. I try to read the whole thing. Now, Romans can be a little bit long. The Corinthian letters can be a little, everything else is really condensed enough. You can do that in just one sitting, read the whole thing. But uh, I, I like to read the whole thing and then go back each day for two or three days and read segments of it contemplative. And when I'm reading it, like, oh, I want... He talks about this, and, and I, I pray. So you get everything in view of get the entire message. The big message. picture yeah, first. Yeah. The big picture first, even though I could probably tell you what Romans is all about, <laughs> but I'll still do it again. Get the big mm-hmm. picture first, and then read it in smaller segments. I don't read it from left to right, even in a single letter. 
uh, as far as I want to look at the whole picture and then go back and read it from left to right. right. And then I do it in more of a contemplative uh, praying as I'm reading. I'm talking to God as I'm reading, if that makes any sense. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to God as I'm reading it, um, feeling his presence or, or even saying as I'm reading. The mind is an amazing thing. You can read and think about three things at the same time. You know, it, it's like you can be reading it and praying at the same time to know and understand, Father, do this in me, that, that sort of thing, you know. Mm -hmm. So, again, that's after years and years of experience and doing it. But to me, that's where I'm at today. And it may progress into something different in the future. I'm going to try that. That's, that's I've never done that. i just read the entire Mm -hmm. the entirety of a passage and then mm -hmm. go back and just letter yeah well something we used to practice here even in our staff was and i i still do it in my own life read the whole thing first and just summarize it so mm -hmm. you know hey uh, so you know there's all of ephesians about yeah so yeah. so we're, we're in ephesus and we get a a letter from paul mm -hmm. do you think we're going to read chapter one and stop no, of course we not. We haven't seen Paul in a while. He's yeah. a friend. He stayed here for three years. If, if you got a letter from grandma, <laughs> mm -hmm. you're going to just read the first uh, paragraph and stop and think about No, you're going to see what the whole letter is about. Mm -hmm. You want to get the whole picture in your mind sure. first and even go, and we've done this as a practice. I still do it in my own life, kind of. So what's this whole thing about? Well, I know he's writing to Ephesus. He's writing, to, he's writing about these main points like Corinthians. It's so important to know. Okay, this whole letter is about him defending, especially 2 Corinthians, him defending his apostleship and some other people. If you don't know, if you don't put that whole picture in view and you go back and try to just read a paragraph, it can be confusing. Oh, I know what he's talking about here because I know the whole picture, you know, so. Mm -hmm. very. And then I know important. that whole picture in light of the New Testament. Yes. In light of yes all of scripture nice yeah yeah there you go yeah that's it that's the recap hey yeah. hopefully you follow along with all the readings this week mm -hmm. either on this channel or on our facebook page yeah absolutely um, we did, we're not reading whole letters at a time but you can personally you can personally yeah mm -hmm. absolutely all right. Well, thanks for joining us. Uh, we'll see you again next week. Uh, feel free to hit the like button, comment on this video, and uh, we'll see you next week.